We want new material. We want new material. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing my best I can. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm less doing this let's play to hope to try and get new material. I'm sorry. We want new material. All right, I get it. Shut up. Hey there, people of the internet world. It's Kibatsu. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Land. So, stage 10 kicked our butts. I hope we can actually get through this. Stage 10 kicked my butt pretty good for a whole minute there. But maybe with a tad bit of a break, I'll actually catch some, catch some luck. As long as I can learn to take it slowly. Not too slowly, though, because he still is falling through the pits. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh! Ah, uh, all right. Well, so much for taking it slow. Let you fire, let you fire, let they jump up this and get the mushroom. Come over here, jump down here, and jump up, up to the right here or there. And I'm gonna gotta go to the right because I can do it. I can make up lyrics on the fly. Amazing! All right, I want to get rid of this fairy first. Or not. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, that one's safe. Um, the rest of this is not safe. That's safe. Wait for that. Wait for it to fire. I am not falling for it, mister. Thank you very much. Yeah, at least it's traveling with me. Oh, yeah power of lasers, man. And now, now comes the actual hard part of this stage. Oh my god, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a headache. <laughs> so, the actual hard part of this stage, the blocks do not matter anymore. They're just there as the centerpiece of all of these spike balls. <laughs> this is gonna be horrible! This is going to be very horrible in the sense that it's going to kick my butt and probably produce a big big fat spike ball up my butt as well because that's what they do. All right. Okay. Take it slow. Try to remember where all the blocks are or not the blocks but like where the spike balls are going to circle around. There we go. All right. Um. Shoot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be tough, isn't it? This is gonna be really tough. Eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Oh, focus time. Focus, focus, focus. Focus is the name of the game. Not Super Marissa Land, but focus. Focus is the name of the game. And focus is going to be beat. Because I'm going to be the best player in the game of focus. Maybe a little less. Oh, wow. That didn't count. Okay. Can I talk here? Yes, I can. Yeah. Figuring, figuring out strategies as you go. Um, interesting thing. Mm, nervous. Interesting thing about the spike balls, though. It's a bit of an RNG thing. Um... Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I did it! Oh, up yours! I didn't get any points, but I don't care. I really don't care. Whew, okay. But yeah, you know, you may have noticed the spike balls, they can actually spawn in a certain way. So if you go a little slow or a little fast, it actually changes the momentum of the spike balls. So one can be like a little more to the left, maybe a little faster, maybe a little slower. Well, not like fast in speed or whatnot, but like, you know how a minute hand is like a little faster because it's like five minutes ahead? That kind of thing. It goes to the same speed, it's just, you know, it's just a little further down. So, yeah, that's stage 10, and that's probably one of the worst stages you can get through. So I'm glad we got through that. But then we come to stage 11. 
50 seconds. Well, shit. What do you do here? Do you run? No. You run with style. Run with style and run through every single block you can find. The ice blocks block your path. You cannot walk through those, so you kind of have to find your path as you're running. So just keep moving. Don't stop for anything. Um, there we go. Yeah, don't stop for anything. Just keep going and hopefully you get there soon enough. When you duck, you can hit the block underneath you in a forward momentum like that. So that's one way of doing it. Um, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. I got this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, three, two, one. Bah. Well, you're enough for a one up. <laughs> so that's nice. I didn't actually grab it, but I guess it did count as a one up. Huh, neat. All right, so. Try again. Don't stop for anything, Marissa! Oh, you stopped. <laughs> you, why, why did you stop? Why did you stop like that? Why did you have to do that? Why did you Why did you make a fool out of yourself by stopping like that? That's not the way we taught you how to do things in the school of handling things with mushrooms. Come on. Especially not like this. Okay, I got this. I got this. Just keep running, keep moving. You can make it, you can make it. Ah, okay, come on, come on, come on. Six, five. No, I'm there! I'm there! I need it! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. That was fun. So, um, there is something else I do want to show before we move on to Extra Stage 12. And I feel like I can only do this on this stage, so give me just a second, I'm going to run through it again. Big Marissa doesn't give two bits about any of your little signs that tell you to move to the next stage. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> That's different! <laughs> wow! I didn't know that you did! Wow! <laughs> wow! Okay! <laughs> well... Just when you thought you see just about everything. <laughs> ah, that's pretty funny, actually. Okay, moving on to stage 12. <laughs> stage 12. You don't keep the bit the little Marissa there. Okay. You don't keep three heads tall. You just, you just kind of have it there. Okay. So level 13 then is your test of how you can handle the plants. The plants are everywhere. And maybe you haven't learned how to deal with them yet. Like I have, because I'm dying! Son of a bitch! But yes, plants. They are everywhere in this stage. And you have to deal with them. But first you deal with two white kadamas, and then you move on with, with your life with dealing with plants. Oh, come! Off it! <sighs> had to enter my nose. Oof. I mean, you can deal with some of them kind of normally. But some of them you just don't want anything to do with. Ah, the momentum! Momentum is a big killer in this one. You just don't get it in such small spaces. Or at least getting it in small spaces is a lot more trouble than it's worth in this stage. If you have plenty of running space, that's fine. But you just, you just don't. You just, you have to force running speed in, uh, in a little, you know, in the little spot you have. Whoosh! See, like there, no running speed at all from that one single block. You just—it's just a hard time getting running speed on a single block like that. And this game expects you to know how to do that. You walk, don't you? Yes, you do. Case turns throw curveballs at you. You don't walk. No! No! Wow, I can't believe I actually made that with no momentum there. 
You walk. You bite. You walk. Suckers. I'm not seeing the... Uh, I'll say this much. I've said that you can tell which one's a walker or a biter if you look at the tint on them. I can't see the tint on this monitor. I'm just going by vague form of memory here. That and I have a feeling it just likes to throw curveballs at you. Keep you guessing. You bike. You walk. See, like I said, you just gotta be par you guys gotta be ready for when they throw curveballs at you. Walkers aren't easy. Keep going. Keep going. You walk. You walk. You walk. You walk. Suckers. At least the three has tall, don't have to destroy a block. Boop. Sucker. <laughs> I'll get that block eventually. Oh shoot. Um. Um. Later. That. Oh. I think that one walks. Yes, it does. That one walks too. That one walks too. Well, you know what? You all walk, so I'm just gonna wait till you guys walk off right off. Laters! You walk too! Yeah. Laters! Yuka would be very upset with these plants. I mean, unless these plants eat her plants. That is a question, though. Would Yuka actually plant plants like that? Knowing her sadistic side, maybe? But I like to think she doesn't. Just because. Alright, so that's stage 12. That's only been three stages, huh? Uh, stage 13, I guess. I guess I'll do 13. Yeah, 13 sounds fine. Uh, ice. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, it's a bad day. Oh, you would, wouldn't you? You would. You would. Oh, no. <laughs> well, here we go. Kicking my butt again. Alright. Oh, I should have kept running. I should have kept jumping! <laughs> Son of a gun! Okay, moving on. Moving on my life. But um yeah, I don't I think you could would probably plant those. But she'd probably do a lot more than just send up a whole bunch of them to just try and kill Marissa. Why did I jump there? Why did I think I was going to make it with that jump there? Meh! Meh! Meh, 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 meh. Meh, 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 meh. Dang. I thought the mirror would actually be helpful, but it wasn't. It was working! <sighs> this jump! Okay. Okay, okay. Let's not get a second game over, huh? Why not jump there? Don't care. Don't care anymore. I can almost promise that was not a power-up. Dang it. Philly! Alright, so I'm going to be introducing a bit of co uh, post-commentary here for a quick second here to say, yeah, I wasn't sure how long I was going to stick here for a whole, like, for how long I was going to be in that first area there. But, like, wow, if I knew I was going to be there for that long, I was going to, you know, be there for a while. Kind of half the reason why I cut it out two deaths when I was doing the Mega Marissa run, trying to show off that one thing that the Mega Marissa do does when you get to the end. I just didn't want to bother showing it off. Just as much as I don't want to bother giving post-commentary or co uh, current commentary for this stage here. But yeah, this stage kind of is kind of rude. Just kind of, sort of. See that block there? I almost died because I jumped the block there and I was going to wait for him to come by and jump on him. But then that block would have been right there and I would have been son of a gun all over again. In the meantime, though, the rest of the stage, this... I'll, I'll be honest for one or two things here. The stages themselves are not as bad. They're not as really as bad as I make them out to be. I'm just not all that great at this game. I will say this is also because controls in this game are 
kind of rough. They're kind of a combination between Super Mario 1 and Super Mario 3, in the sense of that Super Mario 3 had the running momentum, they just don't have the P-speed, and then Mar Mario Bros. 1, where it's really slippery, and you almost gotta commit to the jump, almost. If you're jumping really lightly, it's not bad. Like, if you're jumping just a little lightly, you can kind of control it. Or at least when you jump lightly, you're committed to the jump a bit. But if you're going for the full jump, uh, yeah, it's kind of... It's kind of rough. But with that said, this stage really isn't bad. I'm just being super cautious about how I approach the rest of the stage here. And... I will mention that I learned a couple of things here, case in point, some things about this game is a little more glitchy than they should be. Like that. Yeah. That, uh, that happens. <laughs> I'm not sure how that happened, but by god, that happened. That thing has to stay on top of the spikes, too. That just makes it even more hilarious. I was kind of taken aback by that as well, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that happened. So with that said, that's all for post-commentary. Also, that block there. That got me. <laughs> that got me pretty good there for a second. But yeah, that's about it for post-commentary here. So I'll bring back live commentary here in just a second here. So bear with me as I'm... You know... Trying to not fail at this. But I'm failing at that just as much as I am at failing. Oh my god, it's a checkpoint. Thank you. Thank you, game, for giving me a freaking checkpoint. Okay, so I apologize for not commentating for live commentary for that one, but my gosh, if I was going to keep dying in that first spot, I kind of didn't want to just spam my voice into an area. I knew I was going to keep dying constantly. But um, yeah, this stage is trying to kick my butt pretty good. I also learned a couple of things while I've been, you know, experimenting with a couple of things here and there. Like, for example, this game can be a bit glitchy. Um... I don't know how to approach that one! Damn it! Oh, I only got one life left anyway, so if I do die, I'll just do more post-commentary later. Um... I'm just gonna wait right here. I don't even care about the other white one, I'm just gonna wait right here. Right, that blue one there is a little troublesome, so I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, that blue one's a little glitchy. Don't care. Get rid of him. I really don't care that I lost the power up. I'm getting rid of him. Ooh. Um, I think I'm safe. Yeah, okay. Whoosh! Alright, now I do remember a power up being right down there, so I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, that's more like it. Just gonna wait right here. I'm taking my time here. Especially now that I got a free hit here. I'm gonna, just gonna take my time and not push the envelope. Maybe I will. Maybe I will! Oh jeez. Why did I. Why? Stop it! <laughs> Slow down! Slow down. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Get out of here. Alright, so that one is... is Okay, I can do this one here. This one's pretty easy. <laughs> Yikes! This sage... This stage kind of, yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna commentate on that one anymore. <laughs> no more of that stage, thank you. Ah, uh, that one kicked my butt, kinda. Phew. All right. So with that said, then that's stage 13, and that's all I'm gonna do today, for now, because fuck, that's a little tough for me. So next time, then we'll be tackling stage 14. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord, I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh, oh, well. With that said, this is Kibatu. And until death comes for us once again... Oh god, oh god, oh god!
I'm going to hide in my corner.